Nim nimble uh, motion for Mr. Golden to like lean down. Pick up Samson. Pick up the boy. The green boy. And while so, you're all well, doing that... So yeah, he could carry 360 pounds. Zanzibar will just walk over, kind of like in front of you all, and he'll just lift up a foot and stamp it into the ground. And a giant slab of sandstone will coalesce and basically become a giant sandboat made of sand. Boat. Huh. With a sand awning and sand pillars and sand seats and sand Do sides. that thing like the sandbenders did in Avatar where they make little whirlwinds to propel themselves? <laughs> that shit was tight. Why'd they show yeah. up for like two episodes? And why were Tragic. they jerks? What do you mean? They were just Varetians. <laughs> No. And then Samson's going to get off of the golem. Is like, I guess we're getting on the boat? No, the golem cradle Samson. I'm kidding. I mean, <laughs> it, it is a far more efficient thing. Despite the <laughs> fact that you can see that bulb on the horizon, that's about... And Zanzibar just starts taking his fingers and measuring from measuring the horizon. And then 40, 100. 60, 80, and then just doesn't reach the top. I'd say that's about 80 miles away. 85, give or take. Hmm. Yeah, they're big. By the time we get close, your entire view is just going to be that bulb. It'll be the next day by the time we walk over there. And why walk when you can travel in style as he just steps up onto the pontoon? Yeah, walking's fun, but I got a time to keep, so I appreciate it. What a responsible parent, as Zanzibar turns around and extends you a hand to help you up. Uh, he, he, he's gonna, like, shirk off that parent comment and take the hand, uh, on anyway. All aboard the Sand Dune Express as Zanzibar extends his hands to both Nim and Hyala. Hyala will get on without the hand. Of course she will. The hand is if, just very short. So, once Samson gets on there, he'll extend his hands out if anyone wants to take his. <laughs> That is more likely, yes. <laughs> so he'll offer if, his hands for Nim and Yala? <laughs> if Yala needs it. She's already like halfway just getting up herself, but if she feels like she's slipping, she'll grab it. Well, does she slip or not? I mean, I don't know how big this thing is, but I feel like Yala's semi-decent at climbing. Having grown up on a mountain. Uh, so is Samson. He still need he still took the help up. Yeah. I'd say it's probably by like twenty feet wide and 30 feet long. <laughs> no, more. 20, 40, 60 feet wide, and then I'd say like 70 long. The base shape is basically just a slab of sandstone. With 
accoutrement on top. Like a place for shade. Accoutrement. <laughs> clever. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> Nuts! As Zanzibar just whips out bags of the nut of Zanzibar as on-flight snacks. Uh. <laughs> Still the worst named thing in existence. Yep. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> Still the single worst named thing of all time. It was fine until you made me think about it. No, it wasn't. Just because you didn't think about it does not mean it didn't have consequences. It was fine. Okay. Consequences. It, it, it was never fine. <laughs> the pain but anyway. Real. The flower of Zanzibar, the tree of Zanzibar. Let's stop right there. <laughs> Again, you don't tell me what I can and can't say. Unless... Uh -huh, unless. <laughs> <laughs> no. <coughs> Everyone have their belongings? Because I am not turning this boat around. But I left my school bag. <laughs> 30 minutes into the trip, y'all is like, I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I left my bun! Dib only has one, one bun. <laughs> it's like centered on the top of your head. <laughs> oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. Snowdrops wrapped around it. I just want to make that a thing. <laughs> this whole fight's just one bun, Nim. <laughs> yeah. Good. One bun never, never rolls lower than a 20. <laughs> <laughs> One bun nim gets advantage on everything. <laughs> While One never bun! rolling lower than a 20. <laughs> Meaning everything is double 20s. <laughs> One and bun! So we set sail. We... So that's right, everybody has everything? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Samson will. Sa Samson will put on his um, his better armor to keep the Adam armor in a backpack. What was the better armor? I totally forgot. Uh, uh the the uh plus two studded leather. Ah, uh, uh, ah. Then once everybody is situated, Zanzibar will orient himself on the chair in the center under the sand the sanopy, the sand canopy, canopy of sand, and he'll just slap, slam his foot down and uh, make an acrobatics check, everybody. I pulled you over. So the three of you were speeding. Oh, make an acrobatics. I rolled a two. <laughs> make an acrobatics. Make an acrobatics check for Mr. Golem. Oh shit, Nani. <laughs> and snowdrop. Couldn't he just meld into <laughs> the boat? Not, not when it's sandstone. Remember the arena, of course. All right. Hey, good job. Close. That's Look at all these 14s. So everybody's fine except Nim, who falls flat on her face. As the bow lurches upwards and then proceeds off at a, a like 
highway speeds. Like 70 miles an hour. You know. A, a speed literally not a single one of you have ever felt before. Because things just don't travel this fast. So I imagine that Samson's got like his hand pressed down to his hat. As he's just like feeling the wind on his face. I'm king of the world. I'm yeah, no, as you I'm boy of the world. As you hit over sand dunes, you'll catch air and just just go He is pogging. Nim just knock it off the floor. <laughs> Nim just face down on the boat, just T posing. <laughs> Not T posing. A posing. Like... Just underscore posing. A posing. Looked over and. <laughs> what the hell is underscore posing? She's just laying on the floor. <laughs> ah, her arms and legs have disappeared. Understandable. She's become an oblong. Not today. I don't even think you can. I can make it seem like they disappear. Like what disappear? Her arms and legs. Her arms and legs. Uh, I don't think you can turn yourself into a nugget. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I said, because she seemed like they disappear. I mean, if you're going for like a magic trick, sure. Yeah. You can actually do that. Yeah. Also, uh, I d wouldn't want to. <coughs> I am a nug. My next character is going to be a slime person. Kinky. If you say so. <laughs> uh, keep that shit away from me. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just. Yeah, what does Yala feel about all this wind and speed? I just picture her, she's just like deadpanned in all her first, like getting blown back. Oh, uh, yeah. Just, just sitting there pissed off as always. No, it's just a straight face. Man, nobody's like, freaked out by the speeds they're traveling at. Uh, Samson, okay. Who, who, who are you expecting to get reactions from? <laughs> <laughs> the one who landed on her face? Kinda, the guy I'm... who has no self-preservation, or the cat who doesn't experience emotion. <laughs> well, Samson yeah. has gotten freaked out before at the surprising things he's never experienced. Yeah, but this shit's awesome. Fair enough. But yeah, I just imagined she was, like, starting out facing away from the direction, so all of her got blown into her face, and she just, like, slowly turns around, so at least it's blowing out of her face. Oh. Um, she's gonna be very poofy after this, and probably have a bunch of sand in her fur. Uh, question. <laughs> uh, answer. What is the rest of the party doing with, well, I guess it's more of, what is the Yala doing with all the sand that's gonna be blowing into her eyes? She's just squinting. <laughs> she's got, like, long whiskers around her eyes to, like, Shield some of it. Eyelashes, you mean? In her case, it's, it's it's not like I don't know. Blind, got it. She just squinty. Yes. Peanut butter or chocolate? Why not both? Peanut butter chocolate no flavor! Money. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs! Eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up! Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs! Um, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up! Wow! I've... Got Reese's Puffs in my bowl! Wow! I'm now my days on cruise control! Life. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> so. Anyways. <laughs> hilarious. Well, Gal nothing is important. Here. Slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> wow! And by slightly, well, I mean very. Oh. Got me pus in my bowl. Mm -hmm. Well, nothing important <coughs> is happening. I'm gonna cast Mage Armor. 
Will it even last for the, the whole trip? It lasts eight hours. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you gonna upcast Mage Armor? Yeah. Hogger. Funny house rule, go burr. Yeah, do. It do! I totally forgot I made a token for Cop Me and Tabaxi, and I'm like, who the fuck is that cat? <laughs> That's not a cat I know! Sometimes I look at Hiala and go, who the heck is this cat? Who the fuck? Sometimes I look at Samson and go, Alloy. We. How long does the ride take? Uh, let's say you're going about 70 miles an hour, somewhat. Timekeeper, what's our time? Um, well, Nim got up around... 9.13, nine, exactly. 9.13, we talked a little, uh, got our bearings together, went outside, which was probably around 10. <laughs> since we are also 8-2. And, uh, I guess however long um, we're moving at 70 miles an hour, I guess that determines it, what hour it would be, depending on how many miles we pass. So what's the time before when you left? Uh, it's probably around, like, 10. So then you get there at a little after 11. 20, 30 minutes ish. Probably closer to 20. Probably even slightly less. That's just a 20 minute run? No! An hour. Oh, an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, because yeah, if so it's, it's like 80, 80. 80 ish miles away and you're traveling at 70 miles per hour, then after one hour you'll have accomplished 70 miles. Which means yes. to get the last two couple minutes and change so it's an hour and something no more math honestly it'd probably more be math. about eight out eight minutes well i mean he was just estimating so it was really just further we're closer oh great fantastic oh boy. What if nim you... dies in the next minute i reincarnate <laughs> all right <laughs> sandbar stops the boat and nim goes flying <laughs> <laughs> well you cast the mage armor clearly that's going to go away because you have an hour trip you have 60 times what that duration is yeah. hey we both rolled that one yeah. we rolled a lot of this <laughs> we rolled a lot of the same wild magic effect. Except for potted point. I want oh, it so bad. Both. I want it first. Because <laughs> you want it first, and me getting it would be way funnier. <laughs> you... Or Hyala gets it. That would be the funniest. Yeah, Although yeah. not much would change. <laughs> yeah. So while you're bouncing and rolling and tumbling over the sands at breakneck speed. It's all going uh, pretty poggly. Pog, right? Yeah. Ooh. Hashtag pog. And Zanzibar, anybody doing anything besides just taking in the air and stuff? Nah, Samson's fucking loving this. <laughs> Yellow's just frozen. And while you're traveling, it's been about maybe a solid 20 and uh, 30-ish minutes. 
And then all of a sudden, Zanzibar swaps his fee. And sand just comes over the sides of the boat. It just starts grinding. The brakes are being thrown on and you're decelerating fairly quickly. Uh, Samson would like to try and help other people not get their <laughs> not get blasted by the g-forces of the ship coming to a break. Roll acrobatics. Samson uses the help action. Would that impose disadvantage on Samson himself? Um what? Because Samson would have to succeed for his health to be worth the damn. Okay, so should I try? Should I roll first? Yeah, then... you roll first, and then we'll see if you can even help. You should catch him. I'm thinking about having Mr. Golem do it. <laughs> Samson passes. Shallow fails. Uh, Golem passes. Snowdrop passes. Oh, I want I wanted to know or so help Nim and Yala. Well, yeah, but you can only help one of us. Mr. Golem can help the Nim. The brakes were slammed on. You can't grab us both. Yes, I can. No, I have two. Nim, roll to see if you succeed. Can I roll it at, at advantage since I'm being helped? Yeah. Well, see if you even fail first. I didn't say one yes one. to that advantage. I clicked it, so it, it would be the 12 is the lower roll. Because if you click it, it shows up both are. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking. Alright. 12 plus 2 is a 14. Yeah, she passes. She doesn't need the advantage. Or the help. Alright, an advantage Yala. Can I uh, use? No! I mean, you Why can you refuse. only accept Nim's help? <laughs> <laughs> because it's a lot funnier if you have a on her face because she was so stiff from the an hour of, like, wind blowing hardcore in her face. Well, I'm here to stop you from having fun. Now roll the damn dice. <laughs> so you want to choose to fail your help check, right? I mean, that is an option. You can refuse and choose to fail. No. You got to tell me an answer, though. No. You got to make if a decision. Fail, if you fail at doing it, then I fail at helping you, and I don't want to do that. Oh, that'd be so funny if Samson well, failed. Mean, also, nothing happened to Nim when she failed. Like, you fell flat on your face, which was funny. Yeah. Do you choose to fail your role? No. Don't make me decide things. I'm making you decide. Decide! Ah! Decide! Damn, I think motherfuckers are like pulling teeth, I swear. <laughs> decide! Either that or I'll ask Foundry. Fine. You, you can help, but I'm not happy about it. Okay. <laughs> well, if you weren't happy about it, you shouldn't have left out to the dice. <laughs> so that 23 Just is the new number, worse, right? Just forehead. <laughs> that 23 is the new number, right? Yeah. Alright, so Shala lurches forward from being staggered, and Samson just... Casanova's his way in front of her to catch her as she dead weights into his arms. And the boat has come to a stop. Any interaction from the health action? I mean, or... I guess it would... Samson would probably do it like he would like just, you know, catch her into like a hug. Fair enough. I feel like it's not really a catch. Because she she maintains her balance, it's just with his help. Yeah. Well, like, you you would, like, unexpectedly lurch forward, and Samson would be like, yeah, I got you. So he just full-on grabs her. Grab! You, you lurch... 
He helps you maintain your balance as the brakes are hit from this derelict driver. Yeah. Mm. You good? Yeah. Awesome. I guess we're here. And her face look, just looks stupid. No, we're not, but I need the boy. And he'll just grab Samson and snap his fingers. And Samson and Zanzibar will disappear from the boat. They ditched us. <laughs> Wait, what? He'll his claws unsheathed. <laughs> and they're back in the tower. He, this fucker forgot something. What fucker forgot what something? Zanzibar? Oh, my assumption. Oh, yeah, no, no. So Zanzibar, having Samson in hand, teleports him back into the tower, just drags him across the room. It's time! It's time! And he puts Samson in front of the egg, Panox just waving his arms. Thank you! And Zanzibar just starts crawling underneath the table and pulling Samson towards it. Can yeah. I ask... Actually, no, this isn't even a good ask. Oh. What are you gonna ask? He has the Atom Armor in his backpack. <clears throat> oh, the backpack would have been left there. Like, Zanzibar was quick, but he just stripped you off. Yeah. Also, um... Uh, if, if Samson's not going to ask for us to be brought over as well, that I was request his... Hyala so... and Nim. <laughs> get a chance to act some stuff out after this because y'all is gonna kill someone <laughs> that, so my first question was about the atom armor samson's first question would be <laughs> why didn't you grab nim and yala and sorry i'm kidding look up from under the table very quick explanation because as you can see he points up at the egg and you just see little cracks forming in it birds general avians Imprinting means the first thing they see is their parent. Literally. One. Room for one. That's why I'm under the table. Panak! And he just reaches up and grabs Panak and pulls him under. Very important. You're the only one. So I'm going to be very quiet. You're going to watch the egg and say hello to the new creature. Okay, bye-bye. He just keeps crawling under the table as best he can. <laughs> So as Samson, as he was giving the explanation, Samson's like fumbling through his notebook for the day. <laughs> Yes, babies! Oh. Yeah, so that's why. You say hello, okay? Mm -hmm. And Zanzibar just sits. And you just hear and see little pecks coming from the egg. Just cracking little bits and pieces off. And you just hear from inside. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is, what's a good analog? No, that's too hard. I don't have anything that sounds like an eggshell. Does that sound? Is that good enough? Yeah. And you just see the egg chipping and cracking. And eventually... After a bunch of time of Samson flipping through his notebook and staring at this egg, I imagine that Samson's feeling several things. He's basically watching through the nursery window at a child being born. Look at him becoming a father. Oh man, I really hope Yala wouldn't kill me after all that. What? Why would Yala kill you? Uh we, we have this thing about me not going along with you unless, like, they're there because obviously she doesn't trust you and I want to make sure she's okay with that. And, and you uh, just see him you know. rolling his eyes from under the table. Well, thank you for telling me that now, genius. I mean, I was supposed to bring it up <laughs> next time it happened, and the next time it happened was everything happened so fast. Well, I wasn't expecting it to hatch now. Clearly. Panox just Can waving you... his arms. Can you calm down, little orb? I I know. It's a, uh... Can you do the mind thing? Tell her I'm sorry. 
You want me to tell her that you're sorry? Yes. I don't even think she'll accept calls at this time. I will deal with it later. Whatever. <laughs> if Samson wasn't a boy in the Middle Ages, I'd say, can he get a, Can he leave a voicemail? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the person you have reached has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Has a voicemail box that does not want to speak to Zanzibar right now. <laughs> so Zanzibar will tuck back under the table the egg will hatch and Zanzibar will very quickly just be like Oh, Kara, he's an idiot. Didn't tell me about your discussion. Birds hatching. Averin, imprinting. You know birds, probably. Bye. <laughs> That's all she hears run through her head. Yeah, Hiala's gonna be bad. <laughs> How's Hiala feeling about the sudden message? It'll be fine. We gotta get to this fight. Crack the egg. Or. I'm not making breakfast. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but also, yes, let us get to the egg. Yeah. So I guess we can get to the. the, the what happened to Yellow Nib? <laughs> so, the egg hatches. Eventually, the eggshell gives way. And you see. You see. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to show you the thing. But I only Yay. have the stat block for the adult version. Oh, that's fine. So there may be some tailoring. I got it. Where the hell is it? There may be some tailoring I have to do. Configure permissions. For yours? Observer. Save changes. You should see it. Just imagine that, but tiny. Can you see it? Uh, um, where would I be looking for? Uh, it's either in your journal or under the characters. Um, characters. I see Snowdrop, the party, and my other character. Uh, is there another folder? Hold well, on, let me just try and move it to the same folder that y'all are in. What about now? Uh, characters. Yeah. You see it? <gasps> it's so pretty. Uh, and I will get the actual picture for the rest of the people. Where am I looking? Oh yeah, in here. It's so pretty. So, so imagine a map, like, much smaller, probably like much duller feathers. Yeah. Duller feathers, really chubby. Is that a fucking beak? Uh, Is that the... its mouth open? Yeah, that's its mouth open. Okay. Oh, okay. It's like a, yeah. it's got like a tawny frog mouth beak. If you've ever seen one of those. Cause I needed to ask what the fuck was that? <laughs> Yeah, it's the little... You gotta kind of, like, trace the line of where you see the actual beak all the way down and around that circle, and that's where the beak is. Yeah. I, I see it. His mouth <laughs> open. Beak. And you can just see its eyes are shut, and it just kind of sits there, looks around, moves around blindly, and it's like... <laughs> Oh, hi there, little fella. Do I remove him from the glass? Ah, Zanzibar is nodding. 
All right, now Samson's gonna take the, the glass casing off of it. And as you take the glass, you know, it can, it can hear the glass ruffling. It can hear you talking. And it kind of just starts leaning into the glass. And as you pick the glass off, it literally fumbles out across the table. Oh, oh, watch it there. Oh. And you reach out. Yeah. It whips its head around and bites your finger. Ah. Ah. Point of damage. That's sure. I will shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that, not Nim. What the fuck? I, I, I so. He will shoot Shay. <laughs> Samson will shoot can, above board. Can, can I can I do like an animal handling? <laughs> do an animal handling. Uh, add a normal. Nice. So what does Samson do to try and quell this ferocious beast? Um. I assume as it like munches on his like finger, he's like he's not gonna move it or like rip it out. He's just kind of like gonna hold it there and then just start like petting, um, like petting it back just a little. Meanwhile, you know, small scrapes are on your hand from its hard beak. Little drops of blood are getting in its mouth. There, there. I know you're new to the place and everything seems scary, but I'll make sure that everything's fine. Just fine. And it just lets go of your hand and just starts walking, fumbling, fumble walking towards the window. And you just see, uh, uh, uh. you see him just plant his fat little butt down. Rear his head up to the sky, and you just hear him go. Ah. Ah, in that you. What you can't really see is he's got that membrane completely open. And he's pointing it in the direction of the sun. That's right. You get that sunlight, little fella. Grow up nice and big. Does this thing need water too? Yes. The Zanzibar starts coming out from under the table. It tasted your blood, right? Yes. Good. Good. Was was that a natural step? Yes. One of the first things they'll do out of the egg is attempt to attack the first thing that comes in contact with. Usually that is the mother. And therefore they will both get the taste, smell of the mother, and all the other sounds of bonuses. They are blind for at least the first week. Sometimes first week and a half, depends. Congratulations! You are the proud parent of a mythic creature. As Zanzibar just places his hand on Samson's shoulder. Man, this is gonna be fun. Really cute little fella. I gotta come up with a name. You can do that back on the boat. That step should be done. He's gonna do his first feed. Panak, you and the golems, keep it from wrecking my house. Make sure it's safe. <laughs> I'm more worried about them. If it poops on the floor, you die. <laughs> Alright. Well, time to take you back and throw you to the proverbial wolves. Or I guess in this case, the lion. Huh? I assume before Samson even gets a chance to question what the hell that means, Zanzibar goes back. <laughs> Zanzibar just compressed. Samson's shoulder and snaps his fingers. 
And Samson's view is completely changed as now he's back on the sand pontoon. But before we get to the what the Nim and Yeah, what, what the Sam, what Samson got <laughs> Yoink. What Samson got cowboy napped. Oh, it's like I gotta finish the thing. There we go. <coughs> Feels like how how long has Samson gone? Like total? Uh, I don't know. How long do you think that exchange was? 10 to 15 um, minutes? I'd, yeah, I'd say probably about 10 minutes. It cracks, he removes the glass, tastes the blood, he like eases it back out, and it, you know, waddles to the sun. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Yeah. Where's Jade? Jade! Come back! Jade had to step away for a sec. Yeah, Jade had to. <laughs> Jade she... missed the miracle of Owl Bear. Is she okay? Mm hmm. No, I was asking Shay because Shay seems to know what's going on. Yeah, just give her a sec. Okay. I have been sitting on that stat block and that picture for months now. Baby. I mean, better drink. Mm. We still got Better's a half second. hour. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys want to do it here? The floor is yours. Mm. I mean, I'm okay with waiting if you really want to, like, have time to figure it all out. Okay, but that's... <laughs> I am also okay with waiting. So does that mean we end early? Oof. Um, I, I mean, I guess that depends on how long it's going to take. Oh, I see. They're talking about waiting for them to... Oh, okay. Ah, so okay. I see, I see. Uh, I don't... I guess we'll just edit this out in recording. Or post or whatever. You know, that's a good point. Let me just... I mean, it, what did it... Hmm. Yeah, let me just pause the recording. <laughs>